what's up? Um, hey, it's Alex again. Uh, from Just Smoke It B. Just Smoke It B. Um, I have a little teeny bit left of this shatter, and I would really like to share it with you guys. Unfortunately, I can't do, like, the fattest dab, because I do have to save this shatter, um, because Christmas is coming up, and I'm running low on cash. Not to mention, I already filmed this video, and it didn't work for some reason, so I smoked, like, a really, really fat dab last night before I went to bed. Filmed it and everything, did this whole video. Didn't work. Cool. Gotta redo it. I mean, at least I got to smoke a really fat dab. <laughs> Point is, um, today we're gonna be talking about, um, this little bit left of what I got. It's great. This is Diamond OG Shatter. Uh, anyone that's had, um, just any OG shatter would know how fucking perfect it, or at least in my opinion, how perfect it is when it comes to what you want in a shatter. Personally, when I want to smoke, uh, like a fat dab of shatter, I want to be planted on the couch, stoned off my ass for the rest of the day, um, pretty much. You know, I want it to be able to last me a longer time. Like, if I'm going to work, I smoke a dab before I leave my house, or I smoke, like, two dabs, maybe, because it lasts longer, you know? I don't want to have to go out and have to smoke a bowl, uh, like, in between the time I get to work and my break. I, I've had just, like, normal OG shattered. That stuff was great. I had, then they had, I had this stuff, um, like, no North California, like, NorCal, uh, OG. I don't really know what the difference is, but it was, like, that OG shatter. That stuff was better than the normal OG shatter that I got. And then I got, from a different place, um, I got, I don't want to put them on blast because it wasn't that great, but, um, I got some Sour D's shatter. Not exactly great, you know? I mean, like, it was good and all, but it's just, it didn't, like, knock me on my ass like I wanted to, you know? Like, it, you feel it but it's not like pushing you overboard, which is kind of what I look for uh, when I'm smoking a dab. Um, but yeah, let's let's get smoking on this dab re. With that being said, titanium all the way. I don't I don't do quartz. I would like to maybe try a domeless quartz nail, like the dishes. I've seen those. Sometimes those look a little appealing. Um, but for the most part, I'm just I I don't really. I don't want glass. I don't want a glass nail. I'm sorry. I just don't. It takes a really long time to season, and it's just like I, I don't. I just don't want that. So I made two little, two little patties here. Well, you get the picture. I want to say to anybody that's um, like new to dabs or whatever, um, when you're smoking out of your rig and you leave your dome on, this gets really sticky. Do not pull on it. Don't twist on it. Don't do anything. Heat it up lightly with your torch. Just kind of like tap the flame to it a little bit. You know, just kind of like warm it up on the outside. Because you don't want to damage any of your glass. Wait until it it loosens. Don't if 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 you feel like you should give a little bit more fire. You know, do that. Just whatever you do, you don't want to damage your glass. See how it's now it's starting to twist. See now it comes off. So <clears throat> some of you guys might. Uh, criticize me and say like, oh, you're making your nail too hot. I like hot dabs. I like that shit hot and heavy. And don't judge me, cause I'm not judging you. I don't judge low temp people. So don't judge us high temp people, low temp people. I know how judgmental you low temp people can be. Don't don't worry. I see the hypocrisy in my statement. All right. So. This is looking just about done. Shout out to Sherbert, Sherbert Glass for the pencil dabber. Love this thing, by the way. It's great. 
work great too. Um, see, here it goes. Dab of the OG diamond. Diamond OG. I love the taste of this stuff. It's got such a good, cushy, OG taste. It's like, I don't know, it's really, really good. It doesn't taste chemically. It doesn't, it tastes really, really clean, pure. It's like got this really nice reddish color to it, uh, like greenish red. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but yeah, uh, that was Dabuccino. Um, not like a real Dabuccino, I just call it Dabuccino, because it's a Dabuccino. Shout out to Bora Warehouse for that. Um, I know that I said in my last video that you're going to want to get, like, a lot of glass if you're getting glass, get it from a local shop. That is true. But at the same time, a, a really, really, really good deal is a really, really, really good deal. I definitely have some glass pieces that didn't come from, uh, sugar daddies or, or other local head shops well let's do this other dab this is riggy rose um my domeless uh 10 mil it's really simple uh recycler i love this thing it's definitely um it's a heavy hitter it knows what it's doing i'll say that much so let's Rip into this one. That's just what I do. I like to like kind of touch it to the hot nail, kind of warm it up to grab the dab if you've like kind of placed it before. But here it goes. Now I'm just going to let that sink in, and um, yeah, uh, Diamond OG Shatter, definitely for concentrates, I give that an A, strong A, probably like almost an A+, plus. <coughs> I'll say A, A+, plus. but Diamond OG, give it the two thumbs up, um, yeah, just smoke it, B, episode Two, I I don't know how do I end how do I end this.